Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at the stories we're following tonight. Seeing the way my dad has touched so many lives really puts into perspective how lucky I was to have this brave, special, and loving man as my own father. Well, he stood tall for this police department and this community for 26 years. And I can say what I can do is to make sure this department stands tall for his family. An emotional funeral service this afternoon inside St. Paul's Episcopal Church for Flint Police Captain Colin Burney. Captain Colin Burney leaves behind his daughters, grandchildren, and the love of his life, his wife, as well as the hundreds of lives he's touched, including his fellow officers at the Flint Police Department and beyond. Proof of that was apparent this afternoon as the bricks of Saginaw Street in downtown Flint were blanketed with patrol cars from departments all over the state of Michigan, from Alpena to Battle Creek to Novi to nearby mid-Michigan departments, officers filed into the Capitol Theater to watch the service. Bernie served with the Flint Police Department for 26 years, and he served in the United States Marines during both Operation Desert Storm and Operation Desert Shield. Bernie was killed one week ago in a head-on crash on Elms Road between Mount Morris Road and Francis Road in Genesee County. The 53-year-old leaves behind an incredible legacy, and Flint Mayor Sheldon Neely says his loss will be felt across the city. He was a special individual. Uh, he made things around him better. He definitely left the city of Flint a better place uh, because of his service. Uh, we are a stronger, better city because of the work that he's done in this community, and we will continue to try to live up to the level of service that he provided. Captain Burney was eligible to retire this past August, but said he had more work to do and projects he wanted to finish to better the Flint Police Department. The Sanford Village Park is now temporarily closed as dam construction continues. A village council person says the closure is due to heavy construction being done on the grounds of the dam and the staging of heavy equipment in the park. No word on when it will reopen. And now here's Chris with a look at our forecast. Make still some scattered snow showers to go across mid Michigan this evening. Initially, some of them may be mixed with a little bit of rain thanks to the warm temperatures from today, but they should move out later tonight. And then it looks like a mostly dry weekend outside of any minor lake effect that passes through. But that cold front that's out to our west will certainly cool things down tonight. Your first one five hour by hour forecast shows the snow showers are mostly done by midnight. A few areas may take just a little bit longer than that. And then we have a chance for a little bit of sun between some of the clouds on Saturday before eventually clouding back up into Sunday. It does look like on Sunday we'll have a chance for a little lake effect snow as well, especially in some of our eastern and northeasterly zones as you get into the thumb and right along the lake shore north of the bay. Temperatures tonight in the mid to upper 30s as we close out the dinner uh, hours here, and it looks like we'll cool down into the single numbers and low teens for the most part overnight. Once we get into tomorrow afternoon, it's only to the teens, so we'll have to watch for any refreeze out on area roads, and not only will we have to watch that tonight, but if we're only going to the teens tomorrow, some of those icy patches may linger through the entire weekend. Your first one five seven day forecast shows once we get to Wednesday of next week, it looks like the 40s return, but only a brief stay. It's back to the 30s on Thursday and teens on Friday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.